This is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com. We're here at the trade show. We're getting a first glimpse. You know, I, I had the other videos about the new Omega blenders, but now they're fully released. And this is the first glimpse of the Omega B2500 blender. This is their all new two horsepower machine that outperforms the competition. So uh, we're going to do a smoothie demo today as my standard breakfast smoothie. And uh, we're going to tell you more about this machine. So uh, today in the smoothie, what we're going to make is we're going to use these uh, young Thai coconuts, or these are young coconuts. We're going to open these up, use the young water and the meat in the blender. And the meat can be very problematic to blend for many blenders. Many blenders will leave big chunks uh, when you blend in the blender that's not powerful enough. So we're going to see how the Omega B2500 does. The other things that we're going to put in the uh, blender today are the uh, frozen bananas we have over here and some fresh picked apricots. We're just gonna take out the pits and blend up the apricots. We're also gonna put in some uh, probiotic powder, which is really good to add to your smoothies. So first, let's get started. Let's go ahead and open up the uh, coconuts. These coconuts can be very uh, hard to open, but if you have a nice sharp knife, this is the, the easiest way and best way to do it. You're gonna use a standard chef's knife. You're gonna carve off all the husk on the top of the coconut. You're gonna take the uh, tip of the knife, point it into the coconut like that at this angle, and then just simply tap it in. Once you tap it in, the knife should stay. You're gonna lower the knife to be parallel with the table and rock it like you're riding a motorcycle, and the top will just simply pop off. You could then take your knife and uh, cut out the coconut meat. And opening the coconut this way, you lose very little water, if any. You're gonna then take this valuable water, the water is very high in electrolytes, actually it's a really sweet water. It's the best water you're gonna get. Empty that into the blender, and then now you can see the hole on the top of the coconut is large enough so that we can fit a spoon into. And we're gonna take a spoon and uh, basically get out all this young coconut meat. So this coconut meat is actually um, called jelly meat in Hawaii because it's more like jelly than the hard thick coconut meat on the old mature brown coconuts that we're all used to. It's really thin. When you add it to a smoothie, it makes your smoothie a really nice uh, like milk shaky consistency if your blender is powerful enough. So we're going to see how the Omega B2500 blender does today. And you're going to watch out for any little shell fragments from the uh, shell as you put the coconut meat into the blender. So let me tell you a little bit more about the B2500 blender. This is a commercial quality blender, two horsepower motor, unbreakable polycarbonate container. The container is fluted, so this allows for an optimal vortex so that things will get blended up really easy without the need or use of a tamper. It's really important when you're feeding in all the different items into the blender craft to put all your liquid items first. Next, we're gonna use the apricots. So these are fresh picked apricots. We're literally gonna take out the pits. Very important to take out the pits on the apricots. You never wanna blend up pits. It's gonna mess up your blender. One of the nice features of the Omega blender is the reset switch on the back of the blender. It's really nice. If you should overload the blender, the reset switch will pop out You'll have to stop what you're doing, press the button back in, and then you can continue to blend. Many other blenders on the market will either say overload, or they'll just literally just stop working, and you'll have to stop and let the machine literally cool out and chill out, and let it cool down before you will be able to continue to blend. We're just about done pitting apricots here. We've uh, filled a whole bunch of apricots, and so far what we've done is we've put two coconuts, two young coconuts, some water in the meat, and some pitted apricots. And uh, here's the last one we're gonna do. Last apricot going in the blender. Now we're gonna put in some frozen bananas and this gives it that nice milkshake consistency. And uh, a, a good tip on the bananas, if you buy the bananas by the bag in the store, the overripes, then you peel them and just freeze them in the blender. They're perfect and so delicious that way. The last ingredient we're gonna add is the probiotic powder, which I like to add to my smoothies. Probiotics are definitely good for your health. We're going to go ahead and put the top on the carafe here. I really want to talk more about the, you know, this blender and the carafe. It's a commercial quality unit, 64 ounce carafe on this model, although this model also does come with an 82 
ounce carafe as an optional uh, attachment or you could buy it with the 82 ounce carafe as it is. This is also ETL listed and ETL sanitation listed which means you can use it in commercial environments, in a juice bar, in a restaurant, in bars. It'll meet all the health department codes. So uh, with that, let's go over a couple of the little uh, controls on the machine. We basically have a timer machine, a timer control. So if other blenders in this price point don't have this timer control. Timer controls on blenders usually will cost you a couple extra hundred dollars, but not so with the Omega B2500 blender. It's included one low price. And this function is really nice because what it allows you to do is to set the timer at the different level you want, turn the machine on, and literally leave the room. These blenders can get a little bit loud, but you know they do have a, a sound dampening pad on this blender, which is really nice, but they do get really loud. And in the juice bar production environment, they'll literally set it to a time, turn it on, take the customer's money, check them out, they'll come back, it'll be turned off, the blender, the blender job will be finished, and they'll be able to serve it up. So you could do that now in your house, blender quality, blender timers, you don't have to ever worry about cooking your food because it's running the blender too long, or anything like that with the new Omega B2500 blender. The other controls are the speed control. This variable speed knob is one of my favorite knobs on the blender. It allows you to vary the speed from low to high. And you can see when I start the blender, we're gonna start at a low speed and then ramp it up to high so that things don't glug up and things bend, blend better when you can control the speed specifically. So this model Omega has the variable speed control. The last switch is really easy to use, it's an on-off switch. So now we're gonna go ahead and start to blend with the Omega B2500 blender. What we've done is we have the blender turned off, we have the timer set to off so it's not gonna even function, it's just gonna stay on as long as we, we're here and until we turn it off, and we're gonna start the uh, speed off at the low speed. And I could, you could hear how loud this machine is at low speed. We're in a busy convention hall here, pretty loud but you're not going to be able to really hear the blender at low speed you're going to watch it begin and start to blend I always recommend when you blend to start off low and then ramp up to the higher speed so we're going to go ahead and turn that on and you can see here it's starting to blend the coconut water and the coconut meter starting to blend up a little bit it's on low speed and I'm gonna and you can barely even hear this blender it's so quiet the other thing I want to mention really fast is that it has a nice sound dampening pad this dampening pad definitely keeps the uh, volume lower uh, when blending. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on to the low speed. Turn it on. It's going to start to blend. You can see it. Now we're just going to ramp that up really slowly. And you can see it starts to blend up. Things start to spin around faster. Now we're just going to crank it up to high. Now it gets a little bit loud, but you can see everything's blending up really nice. just about finished blending in the Omega B2500 blender. We got the uh, young coconuts, the apricots, and the frozen banana to make a nice, delicious smoothie. This carafe is rated at 64 ounces, although, you know, I've definitely packed a lot more in there. All right, so this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com with the all-new Omega B2500 blender with the coconut, apricot, banana smoothie. So be sure to visit discountjuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.